the post around it can be treacherous. It's extremely difficult getting in the harbour. Many a ship has come across oh, that. But they still managed it. There was a time when we had up to a dozen ships in the war. Now there are fewer and fewer ships coming into view. But still the children go out in the hobblers boat and meet the ships. Or ride in the ships and uh, coming out the breakwater. And many local men have gone to sea and perished. My father, John Jewell, was on the Ant, one of the ships owned by Henry Stapleton. They're on the way from South Wales to Ipswich carrying coal at the time of the Great Blizzard. They were sailing around Lundy at the time the blizzard caught them, blew them off course. The ship was eventually found on the 14th of March. Six days later, drifting in the Bay of Biscay by a New Zealand brig bound for London. I've never known it so cold. What happened to that ship? The ants had no masts, and they found the captain, Captain Hines, and my father, suffering from frostbite so badly they couldn't speak. When they were able to speak, they told of, told of a boy who was with them. He died of exposure and they had to bury him at sea before they were rescued. Who was he? The boy turned out to be the nephew of Henry Stapleton. He was only 12 years old. Why did they bury him at sea? Why did they keep him on board? Well, his body was turning black and his hair was falling out. So they didn't think they'd be keeping on board any longer. How horrible.